Amen. Amen. Now, he said he wants to see something. Let's see what he says. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Y'all hearing that? Yeah. See that you walk uprightly. Yeah. You hear that? And you can't, nobody can't do it for you. Amen. You see. That's what ye means. Ye means you. You see. Read on. Not as fools. Don't do it as fools. So you see that you walk exactly, diligently, and accurately, but not as fools. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But as what? But as wise. Read on. Redeeming the time. Redeeming the time. See, you can't get back no minutes from yesterday. No. no. Redeeming the time. Why? Because the days are evil. Y'all understand that? Now, you take, for instance... Let's look at one quick, short biblical account that we're all familiar with in the Word. The parable about the Good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. Who was his neighbor? You look at the attitude of, of, of our country today, the people in itself, and you see what type of strong, cold resistance we have towards giving out help to anybody. Amen. That's true. We've adopted the same attitude as the heathen. It's none of my business. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it ain't me. Amen. Amen. You can see somebody laying on the side of the road today, and I venture to say a thousand cars would ride right past them before one would get out and help. Amen. I've experienced it a lot of my own self. I remember I told you about the time when Sister Carol and I, we didn't have no money to eat, and we just went in and ate. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, and this woman started choking. And everybody just sat there and watched her getting ready. I mean, watched the life being choked out of her. And Sister Carol would come running around the corner and said, said, honey, 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 a woman's choking to death, choking to death. She's dying. I got up and I walked over and I was looking for sure she's dying. And you had a woman that's supposed to be a professional, a nurse, who's supposed to know. I'm sure she probably given classes of how you do the Heimlich Renewal or CPR or something like that, she wouldn't even touch her with a 10-foot pole. Because they have made fearful laws to you to, to make you people fear that, you, that, that natural affection, which you should have, is why it's cold. Amen. Don't even have any, any respect for somebody else's life no more. And I sit and watch these cold, hard people and stuff and and uh, they gave the woman some drink. I said, you don't need to do that. And I didn't say it loud. They gave it to her. Start choking again. Had to get that out. But, but you know what? They, they, the woman wasn't going to touch because she's afraid because of the system of laws we got. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That she might get sued. So that fear has caused our heart to get cold. Amen. Years ago, normally, I don't care who it was, if somebody needed I can remember as a little boy growing up. Um, in the neighborhood in East Nashville. Yeah, I remember uh, as a little boy growing up that if I needed, if we needed something to eat or something like that, we could actually just go knock on our neighbor's door and go walk right on in the house and, and she'd say, what y'all boys doing? And give you something to eat. Can't do that today. Mm -hmm. You know the reason why? Because if your little child may go into somebody's house, he may get raped, robbed, or do what else. Who knows what else? Some pervert may turn around and That's right. some pedophile may get a hold yeah. of him and You can see folks in need today, and people um, would actually get mad at them for being that way. No telling what type of misfortune has done falling them and stuff. Amen. But I tell you what, we know how many people today are real neighbors, though, don't we? Yep. Look at the attitude. Amen. It's even done come to even the believers of God. Mm -hmm. We've gotten cold. Amen. And then we see that same attitude that all the, all the time trying to press to keep a division rather than love even amongst our own selves. Mm -hmm. Is it not a sad thing? Is it not a sad thing? Mm -hmm. hmm? Yes, sir. So we, we, we are in this point, um, Matthew 24, verse 9. Jesus already done told us what was going to take place. And I'm sad to say, brother and sister, and there's not one of us in here that can deny the facts. There's a deep-seated hatred that is working right now that Jesus already told us how it was going to be before this time even came. Read on, brother. 
Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, mm -hmm. and shall kill you. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be hated of all nations. Notice, of all nations. Yeah. See how the Bible talks? Yeah. This cadence is a little bit different than what we're used to hearing, isn't it? Wow. We would say today you'll be hated of all races. Mm. Well, we can't say that since we have such a diversity in here, isn't it? It's got to be because we're a nation, Amen. brothers and sisters. That's right. It's because we are a nation. Mm -hmm. Read on. For my name's sake. Mm -hmm. And then shall many be offended. They're going to be offended. Read on. And shall betray one another. Who's doing the talking, saints? Jesus, Jesus is. Read on. And shall hate one another. And what they're going to do? Hate. hate one another. Come on, read on. And many false prophets shall rise. And do what? And deceive many. These false prophets are the ones that come at you with these philosophies and teach you how to hate people. Mm -hmm. Read on. And because iniquity shall abound. Because all this lawlessness is, is perpetuated. Come on. The love of many what shall wax do? cold. It wax cold. See the love of many is doing? And see what it's already is done. Now what disturbs me is, is when I see it in the house of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. That disturbs me when I see a coldness amongst God's people. We fighting like cats and dogs like they did it over in Israel. Have we not learned anything from history? Amen. Amen. Anything at all? Amen. Today, man's heart is so hard. Is it not, brother? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is it not? It is. Amen. Um, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. So you never know today. What kind of spirit or what type of spirit may be on any person you talking to today? You don't know. Hey Amen, that's true. I mean, you think about it now. Hey, driving. Something that's so simple as driving ha has become exceedingly dangerous. Yeah. Somebody may, you may accidentally do something and pee somebody off. They may pull a gun out on you and just start shooting you. Yeah. 